Welcome to Chat and Dish. Going into peach season, I just wanted to share with you a tip that I found out from a peach grower. Never buy a peach with a little bit of green on it. It will not ripen further. You want to find one with a nice warm aroma and you've got a great peach. On to my favorite way to use fresh peaches, a country tart with just a hint of dried lavender. Start off with five or six peaches that are peeled and sliced. Add a half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of lavender, half teaspoon of vanilla, mix well. We have a nine inch pie crust and we're going to fill it with our peach mixture. Now you're gonna bring your dough up and around to make a nice tart. Just fold it over. You wanna leave the center open. This is very rustic. Brush the top with an egg wash and then bake in a 400 degree oven for 50 minutes. Here we go, hot out of the oven and still bubbling. No fresh peaches, that's not a problem. Think nectarines, apricots, cherries, or even mango. Any one of those will make a great country tart. I found a great, great blog to introduce you to. It's called Cafe Tara Blog. And Tara right now is creating 52 recipes using Greek yogurt. That's one for every week of the year and so far up. My favorite is a strawberry Greek yogurt pretzel bar. They're super easy to make. Take it from me. I tried them. You should too. Okay, let's pop on over to Florida so I can introduce you to Tara, whose blog is called Della Rose Living. Now, she is a very lucky gal. She's got a five-acre farm, two beautiful children, 20 chickens, and a hunky husband. But she's also got a recipe on her blog that is absolutely delightful. You all know me, I love blueberries, and she's got a recipe for blueberry muffins with a streusel topping that is a breakfast treat phenomenal. Check it out. As always, thank you for visiting. Until next time, I'm gonna miss you.